The Traction Waveform 12 update has been released and with this we get some new DJ tools. We get some improved video support which is really good. We're going to look at that and those DJ tools. Plus we also get some workflow improvements like one click multi output instrument routing and I'm really looking forward to that. This Waveform 12.5 update is free for Waveform 12 Pro users. If you're a Waveform free user, you can access these new features through expansions and I'll link to those down in the description so you can see what expansions are there. And it's a great way to just pay for the features that you want nothing more. Now let's check this out. So first let's have a look at these new DJ tools and to access those, you can just go to one of your tracks and add new plugin and they're located in the plugin racks. So you can go to new from preset here and you can see we have two track smart DJ mix or two channel DJ mixer fixed. And then there's also four track smart DJ mix or four channel DJ mixer. Now let's just look at the two track. Now let's just look at the two channel DJ mixer and we'll load that up here. Loads nice and quick. And what they've done is they've put all of these individual parts into a rack. So you have all these little effects in the rack here, but they've added a really nice faceplate to tie all of this together. And let me show you what I mean. So here's the faceplate right here. Now, if you're on the rack editor view and you close this down and you want to open up that faceplate again, you can just click on the eyeball here and go to show rack faceplate. And there it is right there. But before we can use this, we need to route another track into it. So let's go back to the rack editor and we're going to add another track. And the track is track eight. And you can see it automatically routes it up here. We need to reroute it down to the bottom here. All right, so it's all routed in there. And track eight is channel two. Track seven is channel one. Well, let's just solo both of these. And it's not going to sound the greatest because it's just two songs that I've loaded up in here and they really don't have anything to do with each other. So I'm going to bring this one down and then we'll just kind of fade things in together. So you can see for DJ mixes, this could be a really cool tool. Now I'm going to bring this down again and just show you some of the features that are on here because you can route these to a MIDI controller and they can add some really nice effects to your DJ mixes. So let's just give this a listen. So you have these cool filters here. And like I said, you can route those to uh, MIDI controller. You can see I'm controlling that from my MIDI controller right now, controlling that one and this one, whatever one I want, I can control from a MIDI controller. You just do some MIDI learn features to set all of that up. And that's our two channel DJ mixer. Let's have a look at the four channel very quickly. It's the same thing just with four channels. And here it is. You can see it's the same thing, just four channels so you can mix all of those. But what you don't have is that fader and that fader is pretty cool because it allows you to easily flip between the two channels. But if you have some MIDI faders programmed to these, you can easily do that in there as well. Now, a cool feature for DJs that might like to see the spectral information of the waveform. You see right now, it's just a color, random colors. But if we just go down here and you click on this thing here, now we've got that spectral information right there. And if you like to see that stuff really easily right on the screen, it's that easy. You just push that. You want to go back, you push it again. Now, another feature that I'm really excited about is the one click multi output instrument routing. And let's check that out right now. So I've got a new track here and I'm going to load my easy drummer up on there. And you can see it's already asked me 
Do you want to create a multi-output wrapper in a submix, or do you want to create a multi-output wrapper, or just add it as a single plugin? Now, I don't have this set up the way I want right now, but I'm going to click on create multi-output wrapper in a submix right now, just so I can see how this works. And look at that, it's created all the multi-outputs in there for this instrument. I don't have it set up the way I want in here because you can set these up different. And right now it's just everything set up to one. So let's go to multi-channel. And now you can see down here, it's different. So if we click on our kick drum, you can see it's coming through our track nine here, which is the first track in our submix. So that's track one, one, two. And the snare, you can see it was coming through top and bottom here. It's also coming through some tracks down lower, which is your room mics and your overheads. Then we have our toms, hi-hat, and it's already routed for us. Normally this takes me quite a while to do all this routing. It's done it all for me. Now all I have to do is just name the tracks, which is really easy to do. But say we've added this, and we didn't click that create multi-output track right from the get-go. We can still do that. Let's just get rid of this submix altogether. So I'm going to add another instance of Easy Drummer. And this time I'm just going to add the single plugin, just like we would normally add a plugin in here. You can see it's loaded just as a single plugin. That's fine. Now, if I go in here, I set up my multi-channel, everything's ready to go. And now I want to create that multi-output. I can right click over here. And then you can see I have those options, create a multi-out rack for this plugin or create a multi-out rack for this plugin inside a submix, which I wanna do instantly done. Look at that. That alone makes this update for me well worth it. Now let's check out some of this improved video support. So I'm just going to drag a video file in here. And this was just from a short video that I did a while ago. And I don't want to copy that to the folder. And we have our video loaded up right there. You can see if we play this, the free Acoustica Audio Fire the Gold plugin is super easy to We can see our video there, but what if we wanna do some editing? We can do that just like we were editing audio. So if I wanna make splits in here, I can do a split. There we go. I can shorten this now, move it around in here, and I could even bring in other video clips and kind of piece them together and edit it all up if I want. You can add fades and cross fades, just like if you were editing audio. And you can see we have the audio on here, but if you add video and you don't want that audio to play, you can just click on this little audio button there. And it's going to turn the audio off for that. Just plays the video. And if you want to export that, we can just go down to video and then export render to file. And here is our video option. So we have format and we can choose size, which is the original, or you can go in here, you can save 4K, 2K, 1080p or 720p. You can change the sample rate of the audio if you want and the sample size. So you can change that to 24 bit if you like. This is actually a very decent video editor for some basic video editing. If you want to add a lyric video to your song or just some visuals to a song, you can easily do that in here. Or maybe you just want a basic video editor for a podcast or something like that. This is very capable if you only need basic editing and not a whole lot of effects and that sort of thing. This is a great video editor. Before I couldn't bring in certain types of videos, they wouldn't work in here, it was a little sluggish. This is really fast, really responsive, just like if we were working on audio. I actually really like the video features in here. And there's another new feature that I was looking forward to in the 12.5 update, and that was the split to stems feature. 
because I've got this ahead of time, I couldn't download that feature into the program, so it wouldn't let me use it. So I'm going to do a standalone video just for that. And check the video on the screen right here for some excellent traction waveform workflow tips. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching for Audio Tech TV. I'm Zane. Keep creating. Fist bump. Thumbs up.